Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to create this in After Effects. Let's start. Ok guys welcome back, I will add the project file link in my description below, you can check it from there. So first let's create a new magnify glass, for that I'm gonna use shape tool and let's hold it and let's select the ellipse tool and let's hold shift and let's make an ellipse like this. Now let's go to here again and hold it and let's select the round rectangle tool. Or you can just press Q to switch this modes, let's try it. Okay, now let's create one rectangle like this. Okay, and let's change the color of it. I'm gonna use the blue like this. Let's click OK. And from here let's select the ellipse. And go to fill. Let's go to light blue. And click OK. And also let's enable the stroke. Let's change the stroke size. Let's make it 25, ok, and now let's go to here and open the ellipse one, and from here go to fill one, and let's change the opacity of it, like this, and let's close it. Now let's create a new background, for that right mouse here, go to new and click to solid, and let's click to here to change the color, and I'm gonna use this color, and click ok, and let's rename it to background. And click OK. Now let's move it to the down to here and select the shape layer and open the settings and select this rectangle and let's move it to the down to here. And go to selection tool and let's move this rectangle to the right a little bit. Nice. Now select this shape tool and go to pen behind or you can press Y for that. And let's move the anchor point to here. And select this shape tool. Let's rename it to magnify glass. And let's press R, let's change the rotation like this. And go back to selection tool with pressing V. And now let's create some random shapes, for example star, like this. Ok, now let's close it. Now let's select the shape tool and let's move it to the back. And select the shape layer and let's change the rotation of it like this. And let's move it to here. And let's duplicate it again, and let's move one to here. Nice. Now let's go to Type tool, and let's cl just click to here, and let's write it Shapes. Let's select this text, and let's select this color, and go to Color again, and let's make it a little bit dark, like this. And click OK, go to Selection tool, and let's move it to here. And select this text, let's move it to behind this shape layers. Now let's select this magnify glass and let's press P, make position keyframe. And let's move it to right, like this. And let's go to here. And let's move it to there, somewhere. And go to 10 keyframe. Let's move it like this. And go to 10 keyframe again. Let's move it like that. And select keyframes, let's make them easy. -ease. And select these two keyframes, go to Graph Editor. Let's change the graph like this. Let's first preview it. Okay, it's kind of fast, so select keyframes, hold Alt, and let's move them to the right. Let's see again. Okay, as you can see, there is a problem. So to fix that, select keyframes, right mouse, go to keyframe interpolation, and change out to Bezier to linear. Click OK. Let's see again. Ok, nice. Now let's press N and make our composition 3 seconds. Now right mouse here, go to new and let's create an adjustment layer. And go to effects presets and let's search for magnify. And let's double click to here. And select this magnify and let's move it to there. And from effects controls, let's change the size of it like this so it matches our circle. Let's move it like this. Let's make it 156. Ok, and then select this adjustment layer and let's move it to the down. And from here let's open the adjustment layer settings and go to effects and open the magnify. And from here let's find the center and let's link it to position. 
Let's see it. Okay, nice. As you can see, we already have a magnify glass effect. Also, let's change the duration of the timeline so we can animate it a little bit more. Let's go to here and select the magnify glass. And let's zoom to this object and go to here. Let's zoom here and there. Let's move it like this. Let's see. Also, as you can see, the magnify is kind of big, so we can fix it. Just select the adjustment layer and we can change it from magnification like this, however you want. Let's make it 125. Let's see. Nice. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in my video. See you in the next videos.